So when someone give you anything, appreciate them. If someone spend time to go out and fight for you, appreciate them. Someone give you water, appreciate them. That place never get dry. And from today, you never get dry in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never run out of idea. You will never run out of finances. You will never run out of helper. All the days of your life, your divine helper is there. You will never run out of the connection. Divine connection. Divine enablement. Business partners. Those that will partner with you and give you what you want. Not those that will embarrass you. In fact, anywhere you appear, the helper is there. It doesn't matter the situation. The master is there. Praise the Lord. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. Heavenly Father, we surrender all to you. We surrender our family, our finance, our health, and everything that concerned us, we surrender all to you. Father, take control, take dominion, take preeminence. Thank you, Holy Father, for this hour. Father, receive our thanksgiving. Receive us, O oh Lord, for we have repent of not giving you thanks. We have repent of all our numerous sins. Father, we have repent. We repent of them all. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, and favor speak for us. Thank you, King of Glory. We give you praise. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can I hear you say amen and amen? May you stand on your feet. Say right now and right here. Right now and right here. I am the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. Say that, say that again. Say right now and right here. I am the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. Say it again, say right here and right now, I am the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. Amen. As you have said that word, so you stand clean. You stand purified. Amen. Now may you be seated. May you be seated. People of God, the first miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ, the miracle he performed here on earth was very notable. It's something that no one should forget. No one should forget. Can you go to the Bible, St. John Gospel chapter 2, begin from verse number 1. St. John Gospel chapter 2, begin from verse number 1. Are you there? 2 verse 1. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding, and when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus now hang on there. Hang on there. The Bible says, and when they run out of wine, so means in life, there are some, there's a time in life you run out of understanding who you are. You run out of finances. You run out of certain things you saw need in life. Even sometimes you run out of friends that can help you. Friends that will come to your head. Those who think, oh, when I have a problem, I'll just go to this person. He's going to help me. Whatever I need. He's a millionaire. He's a billionaire. As soon as I get to him, he's going to give me whatever I want. But that person disappoints you. Means in life, you run out of things you so need. There are time in life you run out. I wanted to note this in your Bible. He said, and they run out of wine. You have a pen and paper there? Can you underline it in your Bible, please? Always go to, your, to the church with your pen and with your paper in your hand. Your marker, have it there. Hallelujah. 
Are you still there? Are you still there? Je no, I want you to know that Jesus was invited. Jesus Christ and his disciples were what? We are invited. They were invited. And now, where they were invited means God is there. Just as you said today, you are in the presence of God. And you say to viewers that God is watching you. You say to your neighbor, God is here. Now, God is physically there with them and they run out of wine. Imagine such a situation. God is physically there with them and they run out of wine. The Savior is there. They run out of wine. The Master is there physically. I am not saying spiritual. No. Today we might say, oh, the Master is here without spiritual. Oh, the prophet is not here. Oh, because the prophet is not here, nothing is going to happen. Don't go to church. Let's watch over the television. Let's log into Facebook. Let's log into WhatsApp. Let's log into this, all this, all that. People of God, these are human error. Eh? These are human error. You know, whenever I pray, I say, Oh, I give us, oh, it's a caros. Oh, Athenetos, Holy God, Holy Father, where are you? My Redeemer. And instantly, he, when you, when the moment you said it, you look at the Father, he's there physically with you. Oh, Elison, my strength is there. Oh, it's a caros. Hamas, what is, what is that you cannot? I mean, the moment you mention that name, he's so holy, his ever presence, no matter where. But this time around, he was presence with them. He was presence there physically, not spiritually. He was there. But the wine finished. They ran out of wine. Sometimes in life you run out of idea. You run out of comprehending who you are. <laughs> you are. You are very one whom God has created the world and given you the power to rule over all that he has created. You run out of idea. Why the master is with you? No. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> See, never dry. Say to yourself, see never dry. Say to your neighbor, see never dry. Say to viewers all over the world, see never dry. No, it doesn't happen. See never dry water from no land. No, it's impossible. In French, we say see pas possible, mon ami. No, it's not possible. It doesn't happen. The master was there and they ran out of wine. But look at what happened. What you have failed to understand in life. The master said, the mother ran to them and said, oh, don't you know the wine is finished? How can the master be there and the wine finished? Which means the mother knows who she is. The mother knows him very well. But you do not know him. But praise God that Isaka knows him. <laughs> Praise God that Andrew know him. <laughs> praise God that I know him. Can I hear you say, praise God that I know you, Lord. Say, praise God that I know you, Lord. Praise God that I know you, Lord. Father, I thank you for knowing your son. He's ever present in terms of problems, in terms of needy. Praise God, you're there. Praise God, the God is with you. So what happened after that? Mark it, underline it in your Bible, please. Just take a pen and paper and underline it in verse number three. Underline it. Have it underlined. Underline it properly. Hallelujah. Can you take that verse three again, please? And when they had run out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Verse four. Hallelujah. No, stop there. Stop there. The mother of Jesus Christ said to him, they have no 
wine. The mother was there. You can imagine. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, say my mother is here. Hallelujah. Say my mother is here. The mother went to him and said, there is no wine. The wine is finished. But look at the response. So there must be a response. It's like when Adam was in the garden of Eden. And he said, the father and start running. And the father asked him, Adam, where are you? He said, I, I hide. <laughs> I heard your voice, I hide. But that's not the question. Adam, where are you? He said, I heard your voice and hide. Praise the Lord. Please don't hide again. Tell your neighbor, don't hide again. Because the master is with you. Where can you go from his presence? Hear this. He said, they're out of wine. The mother said that to him. Now take verse 4 for us. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour <laughs> has not come. Now, now, now listen. Her concern is that there's something is in need. We need something here. What do you need today? Do you need healing? Do you need a house? You need a car? You need a husband? What is that that you need? You need, you need deliverance? You, have, you want to take in, you want to be pregnant? You want to buy houses, cars? All things are yours. What do you need? Hallelujah. People of God, I want to tell you this. Whenever I read this scripture, I remember something. My mother. When my mother was there, listen, listen, listen. Look at me. Whenever I need something, I run to my mother because I remember it was the mother of Jesus Christ that went to tell him the wine is finished. So I run to my mother to tell her that my money is finished. <laughs> I need something. My mom would do, look at me. Say, close your eyes. Look that way. I pretend I do like this. Close one eye. She will just do this way. The money come out. Hallelujah. What a magic. In fact, my mother is a magician. <laughs> There's something the father put in my mother. And I know your mother have it. I know you have it. Praise the Lord. Immediately she do this way. I know where she's going. That place. <laughs> she never dry. The, one, the money never finished there. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Something will come out. He said, thank. Don't come back. Hallelujah. The next day when, the th when I ran out of it, I come back to her. I said, mommy, you know, uh, they ask us to bring me, say you again. She said, turn this way. I turn. Another one come out. Hallelujah. That place never get dry. And from today, you never get dry in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never run out of idea. You will never run out of finances. You will never run out of helper. All the days of your life, your divine helper is there. You will never run out of the connection. Divine connection. Divine enablement. Business partners. Those that will partner with you and give you what you want. Not those that will embarrass you. In fact, anywhere you appear, the helper is there. It doesn't matter the situation. The master is there. Praise the Lord. He said, woman, what have you got over me? What, 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 what is my business? That the wine is finished. Did she respond? No. There was no response. He said, the wine is finished. Did she respond? What have you got to do with me? Can you take it again, that verse 4? Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour hey. has not yet come. Hallelujah. You see, he tried to pretend that the hour has not come while the hour is there. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the hour is here. The hour is always there. When the master is present, that is your time. Hallelujah. Can I hear you say that to your neighbor? When the master is present, that is your time. All time is your time. Praise the Lord. All time is your time. You don't run out of time. You don't run out of power. You don't run out of ideas. You don't run, you don't run out of helper. Those are for the people of the world. Not for children of God. Now go ahead. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Now, Thank you. Hang on there. She did not respond to the son. She went again to the, to, the, to the disciples and said, whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. It's like today, when I said to you, anoint your tongue, 
Don't go and anoint your feet and leave your tongue. Anoint your tongue first. When I say anoint your head, anoint your head. Do it foolishly and wait for the master to act. Allow the master to do the rest. The battle is not yours by the Lord. The battle is not ours by the Lord. The same God that walk in me, through me and for me, we walk for you, through you and for you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you got to do is to believe and have confidence in him. Remember Ezekiel, his, the experience of Ezekiel. He said, can dry bone rise again? He said, yes, prophesy. Hallelujah. I love that word. Prophesy. A miracle began to happen. Praise the Lord. Dry bone rise and become great soldiers. So people of God, today is a day of difference in your life. Eleven today. Even in eleven hours, miracle is there for you. Hallelujah. Eleven hours breakthrough. Eleven hours financial breakthrough. Eleven hours healing. Look at that sister that testified today. She says she ran to the church. And they say she had high blood pressure, she had this problem, she had that problem. She could not deliver this, is that, she ran out of water. But what did the master say to him? He said, said to her, he said, go and deliver your baby. Your baby have turned. Your baby have turned. There's no Caesar, there's no operation. But go at appointed time. And this is the time. And when the time she gets to the hospital, the baby has already turned. She gives birth freely. Praise the Lord. The problem man has is a man always doubt the father. Tell the neighbor from today, stop doubting him. From this day, stop doubting him. Look at it. They ran to. They ran out of wine. They ran out of wine. And this was a great celebration. They ran out of wine. And immediately she spoke to him. He went to the disciples and said, whatsoever he tell you to do, do it. Which means there's a time in the house, our Lord Jesus Christ, they will run out of food in the house. He will just tell the mother, put on the plate. What do you want to eat? This one said, I want to eat pizza. This one said, oh, mama, today I want to eat chicken. Another one will say, no, I want to eat fish. He said, okay, put on the plate. When they put the plate, say, thank you, Father. All the food they want to be available. Hallelujah. This is what has been happening in the house. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, if she does not have a testimony from home, she will not have boldly approached her, approach him and said, we are out of wine. And approach his disciples and say, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Means she have known it. Praise the Lord. It's like those who come to the church today and say, oh no, I used to go to that church. In fact, that church is so powerful. When that man of God come, oh, through that man of God, I got my breakthrough. Oh, you have to go there and get your own breakthrough. You after you get your breakthrough, you run out. <laughs> you continue to enjoy the breakthrough, people of God. It is time for you to repent. Hallelujah. It is time for you to repent. Remain committed. When God prophesied, when God touched you, when you receive the touch, remain committed. Praise the Lord. Can we go back to our Bible, please? Let's go back to St. John Gospel chapter 2. We go to verse number 4 again. Verse 4. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twenty or thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom 
And he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk, and the, in, and the inferior, you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his Thank disciples you. believed in him. And the entire house believed in him. They all believed in him. Today, as we believe in him, he will manifest his power in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, and they fill it up and give thanks and ask them to go and share it. Praise the Lord. So I want us to look at also the Matthew 26. Take your Bible, go to Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26, I want you to take your Bible, go to verse number 26. Matthew 26, verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not... You hear that? He took the bread and gave to them and said, Drink, eat, this is my flesh. People of God, Jesus Christ has never done anything without giving thanks. He gives thanks. After giving thanks, he gives it to them. So thanksgiving must never depart from your lips. Gratitude, appreciating God at all times. In good time and bad time, you give him thanks. Hallelujah. You give him thanks. When you give him thanks, he begins to manifest himself. Because every good and perfect gift comes from the Father. How can your Father give you something without giving you, without you returning appreciation to Him? I wanted to look at verse, uh, first, uh, Philippians 4, verse 6. He said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Let your request be made known unto God. So before you put any petition to the Father, you have to what? You have to give him thanks. Many people, they go to the Father and say, oh, I need money, I need this, I need that. Without giving thanks, first you have to thank him. You have to appreciate him. Then every other thing began to work perfect for you. He's a perfect master. Also, look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. <coughs> look at it. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. So always you have to thank him. Always you have to give him thanks. Always you have to appreciate him. Always you have to have that heart of gratitude. Heart of gratitude. Many people today don't appreciate. They have not even appreciate you. You give them money. It's a problem. When you don't give them, it's a problem. You help them, it's a problem. When you don't help them, it's a problem. Where do we go from here? So learn to give God thanks. That is my message. 
learn to give God thanks at all time. Or in short word, thank him at all time. Thank him at all time. Write it that way. Thank him at all time. Thank him at all time. That's why in Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 says, And whatsoever you do in the word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Giving what? Thanks. Giving thanks. You cannot plead the blood he gives to you without giving him thanks. You cannot eat the food he gives you without giving him thanks. You cannot look at the child he gives you without giving him thanks. You cannot live in the house he gave you without giving him thanks. You cannot enter your own vehicle which he gives you without giving him thanks. You cannot enjoy the healing he gives you without giving him thanks. How, can we, how do we enjoy the protection he gives unto you without giving him thanks? So every day of your life, stand to give him thanks. Tell your neighbor, every day of your life, stand to give God thanks. Every day of your life, stand to give him thanks. When you thank him for what he has done, he will do greater. When you thank him for what he has done, he will do greater things for you. But these days, man does not thank him. Man does not appreciate him. Man does not honor him. Why? They just want to collect from him. Collecting masters. Tax collectors. Always collecting, collecting, collecting. Not giving thanks. Learn to have that heart of thanksgiving. And we are not just give thanks. When you give thanks, you begin to pray for that person that gave to you. You begin to pray for that person. Don't ever sleep without praying for the person that gave to you. It's like a church. People come and give, drop their offerings, and we just take the offerings, pay rent, solve the problem in the church. No, we have to give God thanks for their life. The same thing applies to individuals. Thank him for your life. The moment you get your salary, thank him for your salary. The moment someone give you a gift of 10 cents, thank him for the 10 cents. Because 10 cents, if you are owing a bank 10 cents, believe me, hear my word, you'll be blacklisted. I am a witness to that. I was owing Edgar's 0 0.9 cents. They sent me a message that if I don't pay 0 0.9 cents, they are going to blacklist me. And they sent me a letter. They said, we are sending you to collectors. And behold, I got a message from collectors. I said, nine cents. No, I paid up my bill. They said, you didn't pay up. There's an interest of nine cents. <laughs> an interest of nine cents. Can you imagine such? I took a credit card from a bank. I want to, I have to mention the name of that bank. Standard Bank in South Africa. I took a credit card. When I took the credit card, I said, okay, this card, I just keep it for emergency. I keep the card. I went and put my money. I've been putting my money there in 2022, I went and put 3,000 on it. Do you know last week they called me and said that I'm owing, three, I'm owing them 25 rand. 25 rand is about $10. Is it up to $10? No. Is it $2? No, a dollar something. I'm owing them a dollar something. And they said, the blacklist, they cut my, my credit card. They send it to collectors. I am when I arrive South Africa next week, I'm going to present it to you. You see it physical. This is very important. They send me a message, twenty-five rand. I said, "What happened to my three thousand? They say it's gone. I said, "But I, I remember." They said, "No, we have taken that as interest." Praise the Lord. And your interest, and you are charging me twenty-five rand, one dollar something, not up to two dollars. About a dollar fifty cents, and you send me to collectors, you blacklist me. You seize the card. You say yes, the card cannot work until you pay twenty five. Actually, it has come to fifty rand, no more twenty five. <laughs> a dollar, and they have taken my. They have taken approximately my my hundred and fifty, hundred and seventy dollars. That's what they have. 
enjoy that with their mouth. <laughs> and they are demanding from me 25 rand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So this is the world we live. But God, who give you life? Who give you everything? He don't even appreciate him. He don't give him things. If all, if they can, if they try to blacklist me for zero point nine cent, Edgar sent me for collector. I had to pay, go and pay ten dollars. I mean ten, 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 uh, ten, ten rand. So right now they are owing me. Nine run, nine, nine run, one cent. <laughs> they are owing me nine run, one cent. But I owe them. They have been owing me now for the past almost one year. I refuse to buy anything there. For almost one year, they are owing me. But I could not owe them 0 0.1, 0 0.9 cent. This is the world we live. This is the world we live. But today you give somebody $100, he can't even say thank you. He will just drive it and walk away. Some even go to the extent of going to necromancers, witch doctors to go and put your money. That the only, you can imagine that woman, you can imagine that my brother, that my cousin, that my uncle, he only gave me $100. He only gave me 100 euros. He only gave me... <laughs> Can you see the word you live? People of God, this is a serious matter. Yes, we read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible always. So what I'm trying to say, let us always be thankful to God. Let us always be thankful to God. Someone give you something, appreciate him. Go back and pray for that person. Go back and pray for that person who gave you. Praise the Lord. Because you are owing someone, you can imagine me, Prophet Isaac, owing Edgar's 0 0.9 cent. I have the record. I'm going to print it out for everybody to see my account. 0 0.9 cent. I asked, I said, but I paid all the money. They said, no. I said, but when I paid, it was even over. He said, yes. The over you pay has equally been taken. Because you are owing interest of 0 0.9 cent. Not up to one rand. And they took me to collectors. But someone will take $100 and give you. 100 rands and give you. 1,000 rands, 2,000 rands, 5,000. You can't even appreciate them. You put your money in the bank. In a few minutes, the money is gone. You put thousands of rands in the account. The money will disappear. Then they take the interest according to how much you put there. Praise the Lord. This is the truth. I have all the evidence. So when someone give you anything, appreciate him. If someone spend time to go out and fight for you, appreciate him. Someone give you water, appreciate him. Learn to appreciate this is the heart of Christ. We are now in the month of pleading the blood of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, John 17, that he sent his only son to come and die for you and I. We don't give him thanks. Praise the Lord. So learn to give him thanks. Look at Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. Go to Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. I'm talking about the, pro the promises of God. He give them the land without scarcity. A land where they go to enjoy themselves. They eat in plenty. Are you there? Jeremiah 20 verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty awesome one. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and will not prevail. They will be greatly ashamed for they will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. You know why? When you give him thanks, he began to fight your battle. The everlasting confusion of your enemies will never be forgotten. Why? Because God is with you. Go to Romans chapter 16, verse number 20. Romans 16, 20. Just by giving him thanks, he fights your battle. 
By giving him things, he give you peace. By giving him things, he preserve you the more. He protect you the more. But today, nobody give things. Praise the Lord. No one give things. Someone pray for you, say, ah, you only pray for me, you didn't give me money. And when they give you money, they pray for you, they didn't give things. When they give you money, how can you give things? If you don't appreciate them for the little ones I've given to you, how are you going to appreciate them for the big ones they give to you? Praise the Lord. Are you there, Romans 16, 20? And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Amen. Why? Why do you say amen? Let it be. Amen. That's what, the, all this happens when you give things. Also go to Ezekiel 33 verse, 9, verse 11. When you give him things, I'm talking of appreciation. Appreciating him in good time and bad time. Appreciate him in good time and bad time. Giving him thanks always. Hmm? He said, let us, Psalm 95 verse 2 said, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, making a joyful noise unto him. Making a joyful noise unto him. Yes, me. Ezekiel 33 verse 11. Make a joyful noise unto him. Giving him that magnify his name. Dance like never before. Are you there, Ezekiel 33, 11? Giving him thanks. That is when he fights a battle. He will build a wall of fire around you when you give him thanks. He will preserve you when you give him thanks. He will heal you when you give him thanks. He will elevate you when you give him thanks. He will meet you at the point of your need when you give him thanks. So learn to give thanks. Tell your neighbor once again, learn to give thanks. Learn to give thanks. Learn to give thanks. So in our service today, are you there? Ezekiel 33, 11. Say to them, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but the wicked turn from his way and leave. Turn, turn from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? Why should you die? Turn. Turn from your evil way. Turn and begin to appreciate God from today. Turn and give him thanks for the life he gives to you. God does not want anyone to perish. He wants you to live. He wants you to live. Learn to give him thanks. He fought your battle. Give him thanks. And he's still fighting your battle. The unseen battle is the worst battle you can fight in life. The unseen battle. The unseen battle, which the Father fight for us every day. People of God, I want you to stand on your feet right now and say, Father, once again I stand before the throne of mercy and I repent for not giving you thanks. Lord, I thank you today. Thank you for reminding me how important it is to give you thanks. Thank you for reminding me today that I have to give you thanks. You sent your only son who shed the blood for me. He shed his precious blood for me. Lord, I give you thanks. He died for the remission of my sin. Lord, I give you thanks. You preserve and protect me. Father, I give you thanks. I honor you in every area of my life. I thank you for my children. I thank you for our ministry. I thank you for the food we eat. That we thank you for the air we breathe. We thank you for the sunshine. We thank you for the moon. We thank you for the star. We thank you, Holy Father, for our nation. We thank you for our land. We give you thanks. Father, today I thank you on behalf of all that have helped my people. All that have been helping the church. All that have been giving. I thank you for the life of the men and women, the congregation. I thank you for the life of the choirs. I thank you for the life of all the workers. I thank you for the life of all the elders. I thank you for the life of the evangelists. I thank you for the life of the security men and women. I thank you for the life of the guys in the church. I thank you for all that you have given unto us. Father, we give you thanks. We thank you. I thank you for those flying by air today. 
I think you could do tra uh, traveling by sea. I think you could do traveling by land. I thank you for those walking by their feet. I thank you, Holy Father. Receive our thanksgiving, Lord. When we thank you, you protect us. When we thank you, you do more than enough. Father, we thank you. Be that glorified. Thank you for today's message. Thank you for reminding us how important it is to give thanks. Father, we stand with penitent heart before the throne of mercy. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you once again. Thank you for the grace to return to you that which you have given unto us. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. Be the Holy Father exalted. Be the magnified above all things in life. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. 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 Amen and amen. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397, plow 278-444-7002, 0114930531. God bless you.